be teaching you how to make a chocolate spread roll. So, these are the ingredients that you need. These are the things you need. You need a frying pan, some tongs or, yeah, a little plate, a jug, a rolling pin, some marshmallows, some chocolate spread, some oil, a piece of bread, some sugar, some cinnamon, an egg, a little knife, and a tablespoon, and a bread knife. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our piece of bread, our piece of bread, and we're going to cut off the edges. So then we have our crustless piece of bread. Just put the crust to the side because we won't be needing them. We're going to get our bread and our rolling pin and we're going to roll out our bread. So it's flat bread. So now it's nice and flat and easier to roll. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our chocolate spread and a little knife. And we're going to spread the chocolate spread onto our rolled out bread. Give it a nice covering of the chocolate spread and you don't need too much of this. So make sure it's covered right to the edges and we're done. So. The next thing we're going to do is um, put in our marshmallows. So we've got a few marshmallows here and we're just going to line them up on the edge of our bread to um, on, on top of the chocolate spread. So we're just going to line them up and it doesn't have to be perfect because they're going to melt anyway. So yeah, so I can get about seven on but it doesn't really matter how many get on make sure they're mini marshmallows or you can just chop up big ones so it looks like this at the moment so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to roll up your um, bread and nutella and marshmallows just make it into a nice roll like this and then just squish it down at the end so it's sealed it should look something like this um, so yeah we're going to put that to one side for the moment. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our jug and our egg. We're going to crack our egg into the jug. Just make sure you have no shell. And egg in the jug. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our sugar. And we're going to get our spoon. And we're going to get two of these spoonfuls, two tablespoonfuls of caster sugar and we're just going to put them in there. Then we're going to get our cinnamon and this is optional, you don't have to have cinnamon um, you don't have to have marshmallows either but it's just a nice added extra. We're only going to put a little bit of cinnamon in about that much, I don't know if you can see but it, it, was, it really wasn't much. Then we're going to get our spoon again and just mix up our new mixture. It might look something like this, and so then we're done with that. Then we're going to get a little plate and pour our new mixture onto the plate. We don't need all of it, but if you're making more than one um, chocolate spread roll, um, then you could use then you could use the whole thing, but you could keep it in the fridge for the next time maybe. Okay, so we're just going to roll it around. Now this might get a little bit messy on your fingers, so you might just be careful you don't make too much mess. Okay, so that's done and it's rolled around. It's fully coated in the mixture and it looks like this. So it looks really delicious. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our frying pan and we're going to put some oil in it. So this is just normal olive oil, but you can use any oil you want. I just pour in the oil. So you need about that much oil. You don't need much, just to cover the pan. And then we're going to put that on a low heat to heat up. So it's just heating up on the pan and the oil should go more runny and that's how you know you heat it up. You might need your parents to help you with this but just because you don't want to um, hurt yourself doing anything. So my oil has heated up now and it's gone really runny and it's running around the pan really nicely. So next we're going to get our tongs and our plate with our um, chocolate spread roll on it and we're going to get our chocolate spread roll with the tongs and just put it simply into the pan. And it might start sizzling, so just be careful of that. Which that's a good thing if it starts sizzling. So it's gonna, it's going to cook on the side that it's laying on. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's starting to cook on the bottom what that it's laying on, and it should start going a bit more brown. So that's what you should look out for. Okay, so I've turned my roll over now because it had cooked on the bottom. So it's now on the side and the marshmallow and the chocolate spread is oozing out, which is going to be really delicious when we eat it. So you just want to keep turning it so that it, all of it gets cooked and it's all nice and browned off. And um, so that's the best way to do it. It's on the final side now and it's nearly done. I've turned it down so that it doesn't burn and it's looking really good at the moment. So I've finished cooking my roll and I'm going to turn my heat off of the hob. I'm going to just quickly just grab my my roll with the tongs again and put it on a clean plate um so it should look something like this and it looks really delicious and it's got the marshmallows and they're starting to melt and the chocolate spread in the middle so i hope you enjoy making this i'm just gonna eat my roll now it looks really delicious because you can see all the marshmallows and the chocolate oozing out so enjoy Thank you.